Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the classification of oxides and now in this topic we are going to talk about the preparation of ozone. So how basically the ozone is been prepared and how basically ozone is been formed in the atmosphere even that is what we are going to talk about in this topic. So now let's get started. <music> So friends, when we hear about ozone, then obviously the first thing that we know is ozonosphere. So in this case, basically the ozones are protecting the earth from the harmful UV radiations that are coming from the sun. So that's the reason they are acting like an ozone layer or they are acting like an umbrella. Even that ozonosphere is also known as ozone umbrella. So how basically this ozone is being prepared or how basically this ozone is basically formed in the atmosphere. That is what I'm going to talk about in this topic. So now let us understand the first one that is the ozone formation in atmosphere. So friends, we do understand that is our atmosphere consists of multiple layers and out of which basically we are going to talk about that is mesosphere so in mesosphere basically we understand that is there are multiple other gases also that are acquired and that's the reason out of which basically if you talk about the oxygen atom so in this case h2 it comes in contact with the uv radiation which has a nanometer of that is wavelength of nanometer of that is 175 nanometer so the reaction proceeds in such a manner that is the oxygen that has been present in the mesosphere obviously it will come in contact with the suns which has a different radiation and out of which basically 175 nanometer radiation it will come in contact with o2 so as to produce two different atoms of oxygen in this case basically one of the atom of the oxygen is very much stable while the other oxygen is very much unstable so that's the reason i have denoted it with that is star mark on it so now the thing is this is very much excited so that's the reason that it will obviously it will try to attack the other molecules also other molecules of oxygen also so that's the reason that the reaction proceeds in such a manner that is we could write that is the other oxygen also which are been present in the atmosphere so they will come in contact with this excited oxygen atom making to a formation of that is oxygen atom along with that of O2 so this arises because the excited oxygen atom obviously it will collide with O2 so in that case basically this will turn into or the energy will lost and that's the reason that this will stabilize into oxygen atom while the rest of it will be as it is that is O2 but the thing doesn't stop over here this is the oxygen atom that has basically de-excited and that's the reason that it will come in contact with this oxygen so as to produce the excited ozone so that's the reason that this oxygen atom it will react with other oxygen molecule so as to produce that is o3 which is will be in an excited state that is o3 i have mentioned here as star because even this is the ozone that is been produced but it is very much excited so that's the reason that in terms of energy obviously we have to reduce the energy of it so as to make a stable ozone so what happens is this ozone which is basically very much excited or having a higher energy obviously it will combine with the other elements or other inert molecules that are present in the atmosphere for example nitrogen so in that case it will transfer the energy on that and in this case basically we could get a stable ozone that is o3 so therefore this is what the preparation or this is what the formation of ozone takes place while we can also get the other molecule here so let me balance that also so therefore this is the whole process where it takes place at atmosphere and now let me talk about the next one that is how we can prepare ozone in laboratory and friends now this is what we are going to talk about that is preparation of ozone in laboratory so it is a very difficult task that is in this case basically we have to take three moles of o2 that is oxygen and we have to convert into that is two moles of o3 in this case oxygen is passed through ozonizer so in this case silent electric discharge is passed through pure and dry as well as cold oxygen so that in this case three moles of o2 is basically converted into two moles of o3 but this reaction is very much endothermic and in this case that is the delta h at 298 Kelvin it is been found to be plus 145 kilojoule per mole so that's the reason that since it is very much endothermic in reaction so that's the reason the condition that we have to give is very much cold enough and that's the reason that we are using silent electric discharge 
because of which the further decomposition of the ozone doesn't happen so that's the reason that we are using certain kind of critical condition so as to prepare 10 percent of the ozone from the oxygen so therefore this was nothing but the preparation of ozone and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much